So sticking to the large obstacles in for race three, but it's the shortest distance this time, two miles. And the top one is that sinking feeling for Alex Cherry, Desire Lines, Darren Thompson, Alphan Hideaway for Craig Allen. Direct route, John Morgan, King Kong, Ram Book, The Great Grey, Ryan Costello, Broad Stripes, David Hooley, Arab Moon, David Robertson, She's No Fool, Craig Allen, Asking For It, and Frost Revival for Leon Van Rensburg, Castlegar Windmill, and Living Wreck for Marty Leedham, The Ranting Aunt for Graham Clutterbuck, and Bakersfield Tantrum, and Dallas Mirasol for Vinnie Gerrard. Called in and away then, and making their way towards the first... It's direct route, the John Morgan Gray has been driven into a commanding early lead. And they're going to come straight up past this winning post, and they're an awful long run, I think, to the first of the 11 fences that they'll take. It's pretty much half the uh, distance of the previous race, although a little bit, little bit further, but just means a slightly longer run to the first half as many fences. 11 this time compared to 22 last time, and direct route is the clear leader. And they're not hanging a bed with Arab Moon Fallings down in second, then the Ranting Art is back in third. I'm sure that one ran already today. Then comes She's No Fall, then that Sinking Feeling and Frost Rival after that one. Then Desire Lines and King Kong asking for it after that. The Great Grey, who was around last season, is after that one. Then Dallas Mirasol looking towards the back, Castlegar Windmill and Living Wreck in different coloured silk from the same stable on the back too. And it's Direct Route coming to eventually take the first. They all took that one really quickly and the pace is lickety split at this stage and they are strung out like washing already as they get to the second which is the first of the ditches and as a fall of their broad stripes has gone at the back and I'm not all that surprised really because they are really motoring and a couple down on their nose there as well and the two at the back living wreck and castle guard windmill are being taken totally off their feet by this direct route who is not hanging about obviously doesn't like being out in the rain and wants to get back into the dry he's clear only by two lengths to Arab Moon but that one is five lengths clear of the third place horse who's the ranty out. Then comes Frost Rival after that one, then Desire Lines as they take the fifth. And we see them all safely over that one with Direct Root still setting a pretty strong pace. Uh, John Morgan flying grey at the, at the front of the field. We've seen that quite a few times over the years and at the moment it's Direct Root showing the way home from Arab Moon in second. Then a gap back to Ranting Art in third and then King Kong's moved through in a fourth. Then comes She's No Fall and Desire Line is after that one. Then Frost Revival, the great grey who ran some big races last season on the outside. We'll give a lot of these people a bit of an idea where they stand in the um, pecking order but it's direct route in the lead from Arab Moon on his outside in second bit of a gap back then to the Clutterbuck pair King Kong and Arantin Art going around the outside Bakersfield Tantrum is trying to get into it Frost Revival is there as well the great grey being pushed along around the outside looking towards the back asking for it the Leon van Rensburg grey surprisingly struggling out the back and the leader was down on his nose at the seventh over that one direct route then is still just in the lead Arab Moon is in second they're beginning to close on him now as the Frost Revival, the second of Leon van Rensburg. Grace jumped that one slowly when coming through the challenge, but it's Direct Root who's in the lead then now. Direct Root still in the lead from Bakersfield Tantrum in second. Then the Ranting Art, the Great Grey. Alphine Hideaway getting into it for the first time. Over to third, last they go. And it's Direct Root who's in front. Direct Root now being chased by Alphine Hideaway in second. Then Bakersfield Tantrum. That was the second last. And Direct Root's kicking on again. And he's suddenly full lengths clear again, racing down towards the final fence. And Direct Root is looking like he's only got a jump but he stood off it and he jumped it slowly but he got over it okay he's being chased by Alphine Hideaway and Arab Moon Direct Root's been in the lead all the way half a furlong to go it's Direct Root in front here comes Alphine Hideaway on the outside Direct Root needs a line on the inside Alphine Hideaway can't get there and Direct Root takes it Alphine Hideaway was second and then Arab Moon was after that one and all the way back to Castle Girl Wimble and Living Rick who didn't pass a horse all the way through the race, taken totally off their feet by this flying, flashy grey who's led from start to finish, even got away with a couple of mistakes and held on from the fast finishing Alphine Hideaway. So, a direct route for John Morgan. He's got one to look forward to next season by the looks of it. So, direct route the winner for John Morgan, Alphine Hideaway for Craig Allen second again. Arab Moon was third for Darren Thompson. And fourth was the ranting art for Graham Clutterbuck and the great grey for Ryan Costello was fifth.